He is a fellow alum from IIT Kanpur, receiving B.Tech in Chemical Engineering in 1972, his Master's and PhD degrees in 1974 and 76 respectively from the University of Delaware, also in Kemi. He served as Professor of Chemical Engineering at Columbia University from right after, from 76 to 78, and later from 78 to 91 at Carnegie Mellon University. The Dr. Jain joined his current position at Harvard in 1991. Dr. Jain has received more than 90 awards from engineering and medical societies institutions, more than 90, including a Distinguished Alumnus Award from IIT Kanpur in 94, and later an honorary doctorate in 2015. He has the rarest of rare distinction of being elected to all four U.S. National Academies, National Academy of Medicine in 2003, National Academy of Engineering in 2004, National Academy of Sciences in 2009, and then National Academy of Inventors in 2017. He was also elected as a fellow of the American Association of Arts and Sciences in 2008, and in 2013, and that's his most proud of, uh, I mean, we would be proud of any of these, but he is most proud of this. He was awarded the highest scientific honor in the nation, the U.S. National Medal of Science by President Obama at a White House ceremony. Dr. Jan has mentored more than 250 graduate and postdoctoral students, and his research findings are summarized in nearly 800 publications which have been cited more than 200,000 times. Wow. That's like 200 times more than my citations. <laughs> <laughs> he serves or has served on advisory panels to government, industry, academia, and editorial boards for 22 journals, including Nature Reviews Cancer and Nature Reviews Clinical Oncology. Dr. Chan is regarded a pioneer in the area of cancer biology for uncovering the barriers to the delivery and efficacy of molecular nano and immunotherapeutics in tumors, developing new strategies to overcome these barriers, and then translating these strategies from bench to bedside. He is most celebrated for proposing the groundbreaking concept that we'll hear about that the normalization of blood vessels can improve the treatment of various cancers and as well as non-cancerous diseases that afflict more than 500 million people worldwide. He validated his concept in studies in mice and then in patients, leading to FDA approval of multiple drugs for cancer treatment. Let's welcome Dr. Jan to this stage to listen about his journey from chemical engineer to tumor biology and tumor treatment pioneer. Good. 